Today we talk about uppercuts in Wing Chun. Hey, welcome to Practice Wing Chun, where we discuss Wing Chun and answering training related questions. My name is Edgar, and this is episode 103 of Practice Wing Chun. I've been playing around with the uppercut motion in Wing Chun. It's kind of like a swinging, scooping motion where it starts low and goes up and forward. Most of the strikes I've learned in Wing Chun either comes out straight or at an angle. What's strange is that there aren't that many use cases of the uppercut. If you know why, let me know in the comments. For me, the only uppercuts I can recall are in the BZ form in this section. Wing Chun is used in close distances, so I believe that uppercut has so much value and benefit when dealing with close range. So, I thought of three ways where I can use uppercuts in Wing Chun. Please keep in mind that these are just ideas that I'm just playing around with. The first move, I call it the below strike. It is a direct strike towards my opponent's center line so that I can strike their stomach, their sternum, their chest, their throat, and their chin. Now keep in mind that uppercuts can only really be done effectively as a strike in really close range. The second move I call it the close and low opener and this one is not a strike it's used to get into my opponent's space. If my opponent is striking and blocking at the same time, there's usually an opening somewhere. And it looks something like this. There is a hole right here. And this is where I want to take advantage and use that hole to create the opening. So once again, like the below strike, you need to be in a close distance with your opponent. So you just kind of go in with the scooping. Just go in. The third move is called open for business and this uses the close and low opener in this position to counter my opponent and this is usually done when I'm collapsed so my opponent got me closed in they blocked me they pinned me and I'm like this I'm stuck here while my opponent's out here so I'm going to use this space that they have and I'm just going to try to get my hand through that hole and just strike so all I need to do is just strike. And this is kind of shifting the momentum to me so that now I'm on the offensive once I create that opening, which is why I call it open for business. So what do you guys think about these ideas? Let me know in the comments. As with any new idea, please take the time to try them out first to see if they work. If they don't, try to figure out why. Let me know how it works for you in the comments. Now, my question for you is, do you use the uppercut motion in your Wing Chun? Leave your answer in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time, keep training.